Hi everyone, in this short video I'm going to show you how you can create a machine learning model in Azure Machine Learning Studio and then create a web service out of that and then consume that web service in your Power BI service inside the data flow. Okay, as I mentioned, uh, I'm going to show you in this short video how you can create a model in side Azure Machine Learning Studio and consume it in Power BI service. And later on from Power BI service, from the get data data flow, you can have it in your Power BI desktop. So we are going to look at that. So uh, just some concepts that for uh, doing that, you first need to create a model in your Azure Machine Learning Studio. For people who are not sure about what is that, it's a very simple, there's a drag and drop environment. I put already some idea about doing that, a link to the uh, this video, to the end of this video about uh, Azure Machine Learning Studio. There is a free book that I'm attached to this video. You can check that one if you're new to Azure Machine Learning Studio. So here is actually I uh, get a data set from Titanic. I select columns in data set, clean the data and create a model for that. And so kind of uh, you will see the process. So this is my model Azure Machine Learning Studio. I create a web service out of that and actually is it based on the standard one and uh, kind of deploy it. And after that, I'm able to consume it in Power BI desktop. But there's a, one important thing that I'm also going to show you about accessing the uh, control. For example, if you have your Azure Machine Learning in another account and your Power BI uh, services in another one, you need to have access to both of them. So these are the kind of the things you are going to see that how we can this process. So first of all, I'm going to uh, Azure Machine Learning Studio. So this is uh, my environment. So for Azure Machine Learning Studio, we have a free workspace and a standard workspace. So if you ask me that, what is the difference between them? So I can show you the difference here. Just you need to search for uh, Azure ML Studio pricing and you will see that what's a kind of you will get so in the free version uh kind of uh you have uh, some limited of the data and the other thing so let's have a look on that okay so as you need that uh here uh actually this is the pricing for that uh number of the module you just limited to 100 in free one but this is unlimited and the uh, uh, maximum is one hour but this one has lots of that the limitation of the um, uh, space unlimited in a standard one which is really good the, one of the important thing is that you have access to SQL on-premises SQL Server. So that's a, one of the really good one. Uh, another thing that we have here is about the, uh, you can have just single nodes for the execution performance. Here I have multiple nodes. And the most important things is about web service. So the one that we created. So when we create a web service, you want to consume it in other application. If you're using the just a dev and test one, uh, as you see that you just have just 1000 transaction per month, which is for the, the production environment is not that much. So if you want to have more, you need to go kind of to, to the standard version and based on the customer that you have, you can have more and also the number of the total web service you can have in free is limited in the standard version one is 10 and so forth so these are the kind of the uh, uh, difference that we have so for using it in power bi premium in data flow you need to have uh, to have a, a standard version so this is my free version i create another one uh, on Japanese is however uh, you see that we have for the Sotus Asia and the other so based on the one you can use that one I'm going to the standard version so it's take a while to go that so you see that this is my standard version so I'm navigate through that one uh, this actually uh, so you need to pay a bit for that purpose so this is the one, so let's it load it. 
so this environment kind of the same like that the, one of the difference that you have you're able to set up the gateway here so you can create a gateway over here and kind of uh you know set it up and uh, also you will have access you're able to share it so you can create experiment same as uh, the one that we have before so for example this is the one that i'm already created let me show one of them this one let's have a look at that one so uh, as you see that here i have a data set about titanic environment uh, titanic data set related to the ship that some people survive some not we are going to predict people survive or not and we create a very simple model here and then after that uh, we create a web service out of that. So this is our web service. Our web service is actually get a uh, data from the user, uh, data like passenger class, gender, and age of the people. And in the return is actually specify the uh, people will be survive or not. So zero means they are not survived and one means they are survived with the probability of that prediction. So this is a model that we created here. If you go to the web service uh, here, you need to kind of click on here. So when you, this doesn't show us here, you need to click here and navigate you to the service.azureml.net. So these are the web service listed here. I click on the web service and it's loading the available web service that has been created. So if you look at my web service, actually, uh, if you go to uh, experimental you will see that i have one here this one is two so i have two web service over here one of the name is titanic prediction and another one is actually doesn't have any it's just poor bike rental uh, i didn't change the name for that one so i'm going back to the web service you can see them here let's have a look on the web service so the shape of the web service here is a bit different from what we have in azure machine learning um uh, the free version not the shape i mean that the layout of the uh, reports and the other so here you can test the web service uh for example passenger class and say that it's female for example you will see the result here you will be have the batch processing for that uh, moreover uh, you're able to configure the web service you can use it there are some kind of the basic things um, see that how much is used and the other information so uh, also if you look at here you will see to access the primary Key, secondary key and all of the information about how you can embed it in c sharp python tree python and r so these are the kind of the web service that we have so this web service is in my uh, account that is it different from what i have in power bi account so here that means that i'm in the uh, actually uh, i'm in a different account that i have that is uh, is my gmail one uh, but uh, actually uh, the one that i want actually is in the another account so i need to provide the connection between them so this is my honor account so leila gmail.com uh, but my power bi account is something my power bi premium is something different so this is a different one so for many of you you may have in the same one so that's good you don't have any problem but if you have the same problem as me you need to go to your microsoft uh, azure you need to go to the uh, access model so if i go to the home i'm going to my subscription under the subscription uh, i need to go to the access control under the access control you can look at the roles that you have and here you need to add the other account here so for example uh, sorry under the uh, classic administration and you need to add the account for both of them so you see that this is my actually power bi one tenant one but i'm at the gmail.com as a co-administrator i need to log in with this one and do the same so so it's actually under the uh under the different tenant you will see that i change the trans uh, the sorry join change the directory and you will see that i have access to both of them so these are the kind of the more administrative process that we need to do uh to kind of 
provide the access between the so just close that one so after doing that so now we actually we have we created already a model here now we able to consume it in power bi so i'm going to create a data flow here so i click on the data flow over here i'm going to add new entities and i'm going to get some data from my blob storage so just click on that and I need to provide the address of the blob storage. So I just need to copy and bring it here. Okay, so I put it here. This is a Titanic data set on blob storage. Now I'm going to the next one. And uh, it's actually, we need to do some data transformation. For instance, I need to say that the first row is a header. I put it as a header. Uh, I'm going to apply machine learning on that. So I'm already created web service, so I do not need to train it. So I just need the value that uh, columns that I'm going to apply that. So I remove the other column. So if you look at the another important thing is that you need to check the uh, kind of uh, the specification of your uh, uh, input variable so here is all text but it's not look like that in the web service i need to go to the web service and see that how is the actually what is the different schema for the input and output so i'm going to actually check that one so i'm click on the web service for the titanic one and here uh, so you can kind of see if you want to consume it so you can see the data also here so we have passenger class gender and age and under the here you're able to see that uh, which one should what attribute they should have so you see that passenger class gets the variable here and also you can see how it works so if you look at the test so you see that the uh, age and the uh, passenger passenger class is actually a number so it can be one two or three is a text and also this one should be a number so i'm going to change that one so passenger class should be a whole number and uh, age should be that one and also age should be a whole number so this is my actually data that i have here i'm going to remove the null value and here i just need to put a proper name so titanic model azure ml okay so i just save that one and it's going to kind of have it here So this is my model. Now I'm going to actually to consume that one to my data. You can also refresh that one data set. So here I'm not going to use, actually, I'm going to connect through that one. So first of all, you need to again back to here. So just save it to don't lose it. So here, if you're going here under the AI insight at the top, if you click, you will see that we have some invoke function here. So Besides, uh, you remember in the last video, I talked about cognitive services, but also if you create something into your uh, Azure Machine Learning services, web services here, you see that if I'm going there, we have two web services here. One of them created in uh, uh, actually in uh, 7th of the March 2019 and another one also in um, kind of the kind of the same in the same month. Uh, sorry, one of them is created yep, in the 8th of the March and another in the 5th of the March. So if you look at here, you will see that I'm access to them here. So they are the same one uh, that has been created. So one of them is Titanic prediction and the other one. So if I click on that one, you see that it's able to detect all of the columns that I have for passenger class gender and age just remember that we need to do that data transformation over here so it's able to kind of detect it so i click on invoke and it's going to upload that machine learning model on my data 
so it's written a table of the records so if i expand it you see that i able to see the score and the other one and i can change it change the name over there so for example i can change it to set prediction and probabilities and also i can to make it kind of much more interesting so instead of the zero i put not survive and instead of one i can set survive so i kind of do this some data transformation and that just change it to the text before doing that and I need to say that I want to replace the value uh, value that is zero to not survived and the value that is one to survive Sorry about the typo. So this is actually my data. I can again save and close the data. And after that, I'm able to import it to the, my Power BI desktop, which is really good actually, because you can ask your, if, you're, if you know that how to create web service over there, you can create there and then, or your data scientists, they can create there. And here you just, by clicking on AI inside, you're able to consume it. So which is really, good and also you need to refresh the data every time you create it and after that if you back to the power bi desktop you should able to see that one through the actually uh, through the uh, data flow connection so i'm just going back to there so that's the uh, azure ml titanic model that i have so created today Going. coming here get the data from power bi data flow so it's connected to the power bi services and under that i'm able to see that one maybe there's a kind of the delay on that to refresh your data so you should see that if you couldn't say so you just need to refresh it so i'm going here and azure model and this is the one and you should able to see the preview of the data here this is the prediction and probability and you easily load the data and you create dashboard over here which is really good so this is a kind of the easy way so i'm talking about just azure machine learning studio i also need to talk that uh, if you create a model in azure machine learning services you're also able to see here because there you can create a uh, web service out of that. So in the next video, hope so I show you that how you can do that here, but the process is the same. Thank you for watching this video.